Hey, what's up everyone? Cody Brown here from Western Archives and History with today's edition of Mountain State History, Elgin Baylor. During the 1950s, much of the Deep South still lived under Jim Crow laws, a system which were a collection of state and local statutes that actually legalized racial segregation. By 1959, West Virginia, which was a border state, had desegregated schools and some dining establishments, but little else. Before the Showtime Lakers or the Shaq Kobe Lakers or even the LeBron Lakers, the Lakers played their games in Minneapolis and had a bright young rookie star by the name of Elgin Baylor, who was the number one overall pick in the 1958 NBA draft. And he was on their squad for the 1959 trip to Charleston, where they took on the Cincinnati Royals at the Charleston Civic Center, Charleston's first ever NBA game. This particular trip to Charleston, however, would not be remembered for what Elgin Baylor did on the court. It was what happened off the court that brings us back today. On that January day in 1959, the Minneapolis Lakers arrived at the Canal Hotel, unsuspected of what was to happen. The clerk behind the desk stated that Baylor and the other African Americans on the team were not welcome to stay at this nice, respected hotel. This discriminatory act towards the Lakers African American player sent second year Laker and former West Virginia Mountaineers all-time great Hot Rod Hunley into rage. The Lakers decided that the Canal Hotel would not receive their business and chose to move to another hotel downtown. As you can imagine, Baylor had time to sit and stew as well, as this was not the first time that season that he had faced Jim Crow related issues at a team hotel. Baylor chose to boycott the game, telling teammate and former Mountaineer standout and West Virginia native Hot Rod Hunley, Rod, I'm a human being. I'm not an animal put in a cage let out for a show. Hot Rod concurred after initially trying to talk his teammate back into playing that night. Hunley commented, don't play. You're right. I was wrong, which is a testament to Hunley's character. After the game, there seemed to be no lack of remorse from the game's sponsor or the Charleston mayor, who stated that Charleston had nothing to apologize for. So in this lack of awareness and empathy to the discrimination towards Elgin Baylor and his fellow African-American teammate speaks to the racial discrimination and ignorance that existed during the Jim Crow era. Elgin Baylor's story isn't merely a story about some basketball player. It's a microcosm of years of racial discrimination and inequality that African-Americans were forced to endure under Jim Crow laws. It was only 12 years before this night in Charleston that Jackie Robinson had broken the collar barrier in Major League Baseball. And Jackie certainly had his own issues off the field as well as it relates to Jim Crow era discrimination during team travel. Five years later, 1964, President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act, which legally ended the segregation that had been institutionalized by Jim Crow laws that had been placed throughout much of the South since Plessy v. Ferguson in 1896. That's right, 1964. African Americans cannot use the same facilities as white people in many parts of this country until 1964. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? At the time of this shooting in 2021, Elgin Baylor still remains with us today at the age of 85. So this should tell you this is not ancient history. This is something that people who are still living actually had to endure. And I hope that this video cements that into your image. Also, we hope you guys will follow up with us with the DBQ exercise linked in the description below that features an article dated January 17th, 1959 from the Charleston Gazette that will supplement this video and provide a firsthand account of the sentiment in the area the day after Elgin Baylor's boycott and will demonstrate what African Americans had to endure during the Jim Crow era. For everyone here at West Virginia Archives and History, I'm Cody Brown. Thanks for watching this edition of Mountain State History, Elgin Baylor. We'll see you next time.